Hey everyone, this is the third video so far in my merchanting video log. If you haven't seen the others, take a look. Uh, the links are in the description. In the first video, I did uh, merchanting with a one mil starting cash pile, and I gave a few basic tips on how to choose items for flipping and how to choose the prices. In the second video, I talked a bit about taking advantage of updates and showed how I made some money off of the Polypore uh, dungeon update. And in this video, I'm going to give a bit more information on how to choose items and decide between items that you're flipping, and also how the times of day are important to flipping. And then finally, the, import the importance of the median GE price. So in this video, to show the differences in times of day, I decided to do half an hour at uh, 4 p.m and then half an hour at 11.30 p.m. And I flipped the same items, dark bows and whips. And um, in 30 minutes at 4 p.m. I made 334k. And when it was almost midnight, I only made 204k. So um, it depends on the item. I was actually a little bit surprised that I didn't make uh, anywhere near as much on the uh, on the flipping that was late at night. Um, normally, it depends on the item, but normally when I flip, I do bigger items, and the time of day actually gets better when there are less people flipping them, uh, because you can get better margins and um, just make more money off of each item. But it seems that with lower items, the margins stay about the same because there are still enough people flipping them that you're still not making that much money. And the uh, the time that it takes to flip the items is slower, so you're making less money. Um, again, I don't really merchant uh, low-priced items like these very often, but that was a little bit surprising to me that the uh, margins stayed the same. And having the margins stay the same like that leads me on to the next point, uh, which is how to choose which items to do. And you want items that you're making um, more profit for less money invested. So for example, if you're making 20 GP a piece off, off of uh, Rocktails, which are somewhere around 2.8K each, and 20 GP each, is it's not a bad amount for a flip, but for something that's that expensive, uh, the full limit of Rocktails will cost 28 mil. 20 GP each on those isn't very much. So you're better off doing something like Cannonballs, which maybe you'll make six or seven GP each, but they're only 400 GP. Um, so in terms of the money that you invest, you make more profit. And you also want to look at the time that it takes to flip an item. When I was doing the whips in this video, they were flipping much more quickly than the dark bows, but I was making a little bit less money off of them. But they were flipping so much more quick quickly that it was much better. i would made a lot more money off of the whips that I did than I did off of the, the dark bows. So when you're flipping, you want to make sure that you're getting pretty fast flips and you're investing your money so that it's not all in one item that you're not making much off of. It's much better to do a few a few smaller items that you're making more percentage wise off of. And yeah, keep an eye out on the time of day. It seems from this little test that smaller items are better during peak hours because you'll have more people buying and selling them and the amount of money that you'll make off of each one is about the same. I was making about 3k off, two to, well 1 to 3k off of whips and about 4 or 5k off of dark bows. The peak hours are around 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern time when people get off of school and then on weekends uh, pretty much all the time is peak hours except in the evening. So probably 10 a.m. Eastern to 7 or 8 p.m. Uh, those are that's when everyone's on because the time difference uh, for the people in the U.S. and the people in Europe overlaps at that point. So you'll get a lot more people online and buying and selling items. And then the final point that I wanted to mention is the importance of the median GE price. It's a little bit outdated now that there aren't GE limits like there were before free trade came back, but it's still important because people often put in offers, normal people, not merchants, they put in offers at just the middle price um, when they're buying an item, 
or selling it. So if an item, if you're trying to sell an item, it's often much easier to sell it right below middle, and it's easier to buy it right above. So when you're merchanting, if something is, you know, it's above middle, then you want to try buying it for a bit above and then selling it for even more above. It's not often that you'll be flipping something um, up from below G price to above G price. Um, and also, when the G price and the actual price of the item are significantly uh, different, so like when I was merchanting the polypore stabs in the last video, the polypore stabs were trading for something like 1.5 mil and the median price was 5 mil or so. That's a really big difference. And when people are buying polypore stabs, for example, they're not going to start out at, say, like 500k and then work their way up and just keep increasing the price until it buys. They'll probably put it in, if they know it's for under G price, maybe they'll put it in at like 5 or 10% below the median price, but that's still like 4.5 mil. So that's way over what the actual price is. So you can get some really, really good flips. Maybe not on polypore stabs because they have a high trade volume, but on other items uh, that are more expensive, you can get a lot of profit per item if you flip items that uh, are high above their G price or quite a bit below. The other night I was flipping uh, AGSs. I sold the one that I had for my max hit video and the middle G price was about uh, 35 mil and I actually insta sold one for 35.8 uh, so that's quite a bit higher than the G price. And then I tried flipping a few, and I managed to flip a couple for 500k profit apiece, which is quite a bit more than normal. So you could buy them for a little bit above G price, a couple hundred k, and then sell them for almost 36 mil, which is around a mil above what the G price was. Uh, so yeah, just keep an eye out for um, circumstances like that. It mainly happens with new items, or if there are updates, but it does happen from time to time with normal items, especially uh, really expensive ones that don't update their um, G price much because they're not traded all that often. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Keep an eye out for the next video and that'll be the 10 mil one. So subscribe and take a look when it comes out.